जय हिंद एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर कमल कुमार मित्तल फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई बिलोंग्स टू इंस्टीट्यूट अजय कुमार गिलो अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर ए लेक्चर ऑन ऑटोमेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजर टॉपिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंटीग्रेटेड मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक इन डिटेल सो ऑटोमेशन ऑटोमेशन मीन्स देर इज ए पार्शियल और वेरी लेस ह्यूमन इन्वॉलमेंट वैन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस समथिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ मशीन्स मीन्स जब हम किसी कंपोनेंट को बनाते हैं तो उसमें एक दो या कई सारी मशीन हो सकती हैं मेटेरियल हैंडलिंग सिस्टम होगा उन मशीनों के माध्यम से जब हम कुछ प्रोड्यूस करते हैं तो देर इज़ ए वेरी वेरी आंशिक रूप से या बहुत ही कम ह्यूमन बींग की आवश्यकता होगी सो एंड देर आर इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमेशन लाइक हार्ड फिक्स ऑटोमेशन प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन एंड फ्लैक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन फिक्सड ऑटोमेशन मीन्स देर इज़ नो इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम ओनली द मशीन नंबर ऑफ मशीन्स आर देयर एंड देयर इंटर कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ विद द हेल्प ऑफ द हार्ड कोर कम्पोनेंट्स इज यूज टू प्रोड्यूस द फिनिश ग्रुप एंड प्रोग्रामेबल मीन्स अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इज देयर और सम सॉफ्टवेयर इज देयर दैट इज़ हैविंग सम सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड दैट कैन इजिली बी चेंज वैन ए न्यू टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोड्यूस जब हमें एक प्रोडक्शन के एक एक तरह के प्रोडक्ट के बाद कुछ दूसरे तरह के प्रोडक्ट बनाने होते हैं देन वी आर यूजिंग द प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज़ द फ्लेक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन बिसाइड्स दैट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द लेवल्स डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ ऑटोमेशन लाइक कंपोनेंट लेवल सम सेंसर्स एक्चुएटर्स वी आर यूजिंग देन एट मशीन लेवल सी एन सी मशीन ऑटोमेटेड गाइडेड व्हीकल्स वी आर यूजिंग then at the system level means a group of machines we are using then at plant level and then enterprise level we will also discuss with example hum ek udaharan ke sath mein isko bhi samjhenge ki we are using different type of elements like power control system program and processes so continuing with the topic ऑटोमेशन ऑटोमेशन और लेबर सेविंग टेक्नोलॉजी एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड टू यू दैट लेबर सेविंग मीन्स मिनिमम इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग इज द टेक्नोलॉजी बाई विच ए प्रोसेस और प्रोसीजर इज परफॉर्म प्रोसेस और प्रोसीजर इज परफॉर्म प्रोसेस लाइक वी आर मेकिंग डिफरेंट गुड्स वी आर परफॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस लाइक वी आर मेकिंग फोर्जिंग ऑपरेशन forging is a process we can say that forging so mechanical power is required we are going for machining so mechanical energy is required machining we are using lathe machines the purpose of lathe machine is to produce a cylindrical object so chip is removed chips are removed from the material similarly we are using grinding machines for that is finishing operation we are using shaper planer milling machine for making different gears so these are the processes and these processes are done by with the help of human being or without the help of human being human being ki help se bhi ho sakte hai aur bina human being ki aur we can say that human being ka aanshik योगदान रहता है सो वैन वी आर यूजिंग ए लेथ मशीन वी कैन सी दैट वी वी टर्न द जॉब बाई यूजिंग द लीवर मीन्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग और वी कैन यूज दिस सिस्टम टूल इज मूविंग फ्रॉम लाइक दिस इज द जॉब ऑफ हैविंग सर्टेन डायमीटर so chip is removed over the surface the tool is there it is running in this direction automatically so there is no involvement of human being 
and chip is removing. So, this is the process is performed with minimal human assistance. So, automation is the use of various control systems. Various control systems means feedback control system, feedback control system. So, feedback control system and open type of control system is also there. Feedback control system means a control system that give the feedback of the output variable which, which varies. Input parameter is set that we have to obtain and output variable is varies. Feedback control system, a feedback sensor is there that sends the sens sens signals to the controller and if there is a difference between input parameter and output variable, then variable means suppose initial value is 30 and the final value is 29. So, there is a difference between there is a difference of one unit. So, the objective of this control unit is to minimize this error or minimize this value and then send the signals to the actuator that the actuator will stop functioning. And when again this value increases or decreases as per the requirement, if the temperature is requirement, temperature may increase or decrease, velocity may increase or decrease. So, again feedback sensor sends the signal to the controller and controller send the information to the actuator and the actuator start going to work. So, that may be a actuator may be a compressor, actuator may be a motor, that motor may be a servo motor, a stepper motor. So, automation is the use of various control system for operating equipment such as machinery, lathe machine, billing machine or some other machine for commercial purposes, some machinery like cranes we are using, some locomotive purposes we are using, processes in factories, different processes, boilers that is for creating boilers is used to generate the steam and heat treating ovens, switching on telephone network, steering system, stabilization of ships because the ship is moving over the surface of that water with high velocity and because of high velocity and there is a friction between the surface of the water, there is chance of destabilization of ships. So, automation is required to stabilize the ships, aircraft, the aircraft is moving with high velocity at a high altitude, again automation is required at like monitoring the engine health system, monitoring the air friction and their effect and other applications and vehicles with minimal or reduced human intervention, anshik or kam se kam human being ka usme intervention ho. So, this is the brief definition of automation. Then comes the revolution of automation. Revolution means kranti automation mein kranti keh sakte hain. So, there are three type of revolution, first industrial, second industrial, third industrial. And the first level pe jo automation mein kranti hai, fir uske ho, second, third. So, revolution ka matla automation mein kaise kaise improvement hai. Wo ek component level pe ho sakta hai, sensor level pe, ek machine level pe bhi ho sakta hai, aur fir ek system level pe bhi ho sakta hai. To machine level ki baat, jab component ki baat karte hain, to we see that before 70s we are using big machines, big computer systems that consumes lot of power, energy, all these things. But as the automation at the component level starts, we are using transistors, we are using integrated circuits. The size of the system, computer system and other components are, unka size chota hota gaya, small hota gaya. And this is because of automation. Then second industrial revolution, in this we are using the lines, assembly lines we are using for mass production. Then third industrial revolution, in this we are using the computer system, programmable sort of things means we can save the instructions as per the requirement and make the changes when a new set of instructions are given. So, the program is editable and we produce the product accurately with minimum time. So, first industrial evolution. Steam engines allowed the beginnings of industrial automation to take effect. Machines such as mills, cranes, locomotives could be 
all be powered with steam engines. Means in this we are using the pressure of steam. Steam is having high pressure. So we are utilizing those pressure to move the cranes. We are different types of cranes to move the heavy body up, down, horizontal direction, in vertical direction. We are using locomotives so that the material can be used, placed from one place to another easily, giving manufacturers access to new methods of production that allowed certain aspects of their business to run themselves. So, business could be a good tool for steam engine. Before that, we are using horses to move the different components. We are using horsepower to transfer the different components to move locomotives, we are using horses. So this is about first industrial revolution. Then second industrial revolution, second industrial revolution. In this stage, this stage is basically focused on mass production. Second, the automation mekranti thi, revolution tha, uska main uddesh tha ki mass production ko lena aur assembly line ka use karna. We are using assembly lines in this. So the purpose of the assembly line is that in this a line is there like this. Here is a conveyor. And here, this is the input material. This conveyor is the material flow. And these are the machines. One, two, machine three. And here is the output. So these are the different machines placed along the line and input material is there, conveyor is moving. After performing one operation from this machine, it is moved to the second, third and finally we get the desired output. Besides that, like in assembly, like in refrigerators or others, what is there? A cabin is moving, then a second component that are assembled after this stage, then third component, then fourth like that and therefore a final product is obtained. So this way transfer line is used and the objective of is, this is to reduce mass uh, huge quantity. And one thing we have to focus on this type of system is that and one thing we have to focus in this type of system is that what we have to do when we are using assembly line we are placing the component in a line system. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, machine 1, machine 2, machine 3, machine 4. Suppose 4 machines are there, here is the input and here is the output. Suppose there are different time taken by those machines. Suppose this is taking 2 seconds, this is taking 8 seconds. This again 3 seconds, this taking 12 seconds. If the time is different, see what happens. Here time is more, so after performing this operation, this operation ke baad, inventory is piling here because it is consuming more time and this machine remain idle. Ek machine per job pile up ho rahi hai, dusi machine per jo inventory, dusi machine is waiting. So there is a double loss in this type of system, means double loss when the machines are not balanced, means they are taking different times. So what is there? Inventory is piling up here or this machine is khali hai. means we have invested but we are not utilizing the machines fully. So what we have to do, we have to find all the task time taken by different operations, note it down those operations and convert those operations or club those operations and make the stations that may be four five six stations grouping those tasks so that each station takes equal time means two eight 
2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 12 that is 10, 13, 25. So, total 25 seconds are there. So, divide 25 by 4 that is 6 around 6 seconds. So, the objective is we have to see and we see and we convert the system in such a manner that each station take nearly 6 times. Ideally, it is not possible, but jitna jyada se jyada sambhav hai, hamara uddesh hai ki station ka time barabar ho. So, this is about second industrial revolution. Then third industrial revolution. The third industrial revolution began in the 70s in the 20th century through partial automation using memory programmable controls. Means we are using computer system, some softwares that store the program for one set of instructions. Suppose we are having an input material here and O1 operation, then O2 operation, then O3, then O4 operation. This is a sequence for making one job. So, a program is stored in the memory of the computer. Now, if we have to make a different program and the set of instructions are changed, suppose O2, then O3, then O1, then O4. Sequence of operations change. Operation ka jo sequence hai, krum hai, jis krum mein operation hone hai, uska sequence badal jata hai, tab hume jo programs hai, because of memory programmable controls we are using, so this can easily be programmable and editable for producing second type of products. So, third industrial revolution tells about memory programmable controls and computers. Since the introduction of these technology, we are not now able to automate an entire production process without human assistance. So, these are the three industrial revolution. Now, we will discuss about types of automation. So, basically there are three types of automation, hard fixed automation, programmable automation and flexible automation. Hard or fixed automation. Jaisa ki naam se hi pata chalta hai ki fixed automation means hum isme jyada changes automation mein nahi kar sakte hain. Ye automation hai, fixed hai. Fixed ka matlab jo machine ke components hain, unhi mein hum aisa ek system develop kare ki movement ho, machine se machine interaction ho, ek machine pe job ho, fir dusri machine pe, tisri pe, chauthi pe. Suppose there are machines, machine 1, machine 2, machine 3 then machine 4 so input material and output material so these machines are integrated we are not using computer and the product is completed the advantage of this type of automation is that if we have to produce a new type of product and suppose some changes is required some major changes is required at any stage like this or this level or this or this so, we have to stop this line, whole line, shut down and convert the system as per the requirement. So, in that case, this type of automation is not successful, but this is used for mass production. So, hard automation also referred to as fixed automation production system, where machinery and industrial equipment is allocated to perform singular tasks. Then programmable automation. So, programmable automation, we can say that programmable means we can program the instructions as per the requirement. One batch is completed, one batch may be of 100 components, 1000 or more than this. After we have to set the set up, set the machines, components of the machine. After completion of one batch, we because of programmable automation, the program easily editable, changeable read the instructions of the second type of uh, batch which is going to produce jo dusri tarah ka batch hai usko produce karne ke liye instructions automatically wo read karega aur wo component ko uske according a machine ko set karke uski initial stage suppose usme different types ke we will study the different types of code in detail in the part programming like jaise n code hote hain g n code that is for n code for sequencing ke liye x, y, z movement ke liye alag alag code hote hain, x direction mein move karna hai, y direction mein, z mein, 
यदि फीड रेट है तो उसके लिए अलग है एफ से डोनेट करते हैं यदि स्पिंडल है स्पीड है उसकी तो एस से उसको डोनेट करते हैं एन जीरो वन एन जीरो टू एन जीरो थ्री दीज रिप्रेजेंट द सिक्वेंस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन सो ऑल दीज आर प्रोग्रामेबल एंड फीड इन द कंप्यूटर सो एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट आफ्टर कम्पीटिंग वन बैच द ऑपरेशन दिस प्रोग्राम विल रन एंड वन बैच इज कम्पीटेड देन सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ प्रोग्राम इज रीडेबल इजिली रीडेबल एंड ए न्यू बैच इज कम्पलीटेड सो द प्रोडक्ट्स आर मेड इन बैच क्वान्टिटीज रेंजिंग फ्राम सेवरल डजन टू सेवरल थाउजेंड यूनिट्स एट ए टाइम बट देर इज ए लॉ बट देर इज ए डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमेशन इज दैट वैन देर इज ए चेंज ओवर सम देर इज ए लॉस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सम चेंज ओवर सम लॉस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज देयर एंड दिस इज ए डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन देन कम्स द फ्लेक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन फ्लेक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन और वी कैन से ये एक उसका एक्सटेंशन है या एक एडवांस ऑटोमेशन सिस्टम कह सकते हैं एडवांस का मतलब है कि जो डिसएडवांटेज प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन में था उसका एडवांटेज हमें फ्लेक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन में मिलेगा मीन्स जो चेंज ओवर टाइम है इज द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू री प्रोग्राम एंड चेंज ओवर द प्रोडक्शन इक्विपमेंट फॉर ईच बैच ऑफ न्यू प्रोडक्ट दिस इज द लॉस्ट प्रोडक्शन मीन्स प्रोडक्शन लॉस हो रहा था प्रोग्रामेबल ऑटोमेशन में बट इन दिस केस देर इज नो लॉस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन वेराइटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज सफिशियंट लिमिटेड सो दैट द चेंज ओवर ऑफ द रिक्वरमेंट कैन बी डन वेरी क्विकली एंड ऑटोमेटिकली सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑटोमेशन दीज आर द डिफरेंट लाइक हार्ड ऑटोमेशन प्रोग्रामेबल एंड फ्लेक्सीबल ऑटोमेशन सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन ऑटोमेशन सिस्टम इन डिटेल लाइक पावर प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन कंट्रोल सिस्टम प्रोसेस दैन फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम दैट वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट ओपन सिस्टम फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल लाइक इफ वी हैव टू पोजिशन ए पार्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनदर एंड सो हाउ द दीज एलिमेंट्स लाइक कंट्रोल मोटर वर्क टेबल फीडबैक कंट्रोल सिस्टम वर्क दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर then these are the different levels of automation that we will discuss at the device level machine level cell level or system level a group of machines are there plant level and enterprise level then we will discuss the different advantages one by one need of the automation then disadvantages of the automation it is very reluctant people are not willing to implement it because they are fear that unhe is baat ka dar hota hai ki unki job chali jayegi so they are not willing to implement automation and employment increase hoga so this is about the automation and brief introduction this is the references automation production system and computer integrated manufacturing by mp grover industrial engineering and management by gopi khanna cad cam theory and practice by jaid so this is about the brief of automation and in the next lecture we will discuss CAD, CAM, or some detail about manufacturing system. So, thank you. This is from my side.